So you print while carrying appendix, but you just can't seem to figure out why, especially you guys who are fit, you're in shape, and you still don't know why you're printing. I may have the answer for you, but first, a word from our sponsor, us. This is your cheap plastic water bottle. The battle bottle belongs to that guy your girlfriend told you not to worry about. Your water bottle's made of cheap plastic and it sweats more than you walking from the couch to the fridge. The battle bottle is two liters made of stainless steel and it stays drier than these guys, girl. No, don't say that. Your bottle holds nothing but your potato chips swirling around the bottom. The battle bottle has pouches for your phone, your keys, and your wallet. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. I've mentioned in previous videos, my method of concealed carry is appendix inside the waistband carry. And some of you guys struggle with that because your body type won't allow it because you ultimately end up printing. And there's a couple reasons for that. First one is, and the most obvious, most of you are probably aware of it, is you may just be a hair out of shape, just maybe a little bit. And so your stomach is pushing your holster out. That might be a reason. Not everybody who's out of shape or a little bit overweight has that problem. Some of you can still pull it off, but that could be one problem. Most people are aware of it, but I want to identify the problem for some of you guys who are actually in shape. Some of you guys who are slim, trim, you got six pack abs and you still can't figure out why the hell can I not appendix carry without printing? I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's something I've dealt with. I may have a potential culprit for you and it's called anterior pelvic tilt. What anterior pelvic tilt is, is essentially your hips and your pelvis are out of alignment. So your hips and your pelvis are tilting forward, which ultimately causes your lower belly to protrude forward, protrude out as though you're overweight, even though you're not. And it causes your holster to stick out like this. So you end up printing. Even if you have a six pack here, super low body fat percentage, if your hips and your pelvis are out of alignment, it's gonna push your stomach forward and cause you to print. That's called anterior pelvic tilt. So to fix it, first we have to understand why it actually happens. Well. The main culprit for anterior pelvic tilt is a sedentary lifestyle. You see it all the time in cops because cops sit in cars the majority of their day. So when you're seated, your hip flexors, which are the two muscles that run along your groin right here, I don't mean to give you a groin shot, but I'm gonna do it anyways. You have muscles that run right here along your groin. Those are called your hip flexor muscles. And when you're in the seated position, those muscles are compressed. You can see they're not at full stretch right now. So with muscles, just like when you work out and you're lifting heavy weights and you lift heavier and heavier and you have progressive overload, your muscles adapting to get stronger. Well, if you're seated and your hip flexors are compressed, they adapt over time as well. So they tighten up and then basically just become shorter so that when you actually do stand up and they're at full extension, well, now they're not as long as they were and now they're tighter than they were. So they end up pulling your pelvis forward. And what ultimately looks like is your ass ends up sticking out your belly, your lower belly sticks out this way. You have this huge arch in your back. It looks amazing on women, but guys, it is not a good look. So that is what causes anterior pelvic tilt. And if you've got it, sucks to be you guys. There is no fix. I'm kidding, there is a fix. Uh, and like I said before, I kind of had to deal with it a little bit in the past. And the way to fix that is essentially lengthening your hip flexor muscles, stretching them. There's a ton of stretches on Google. If you just stretch, you know, Google how to stretch your hip flexor muscles. I'm sure you could find a ton of things. So I'm not gonna show you some stretches out here in the desert. And then also what happens as a result is your hamstrings and your glutes become weakened. So if you do strength exercises for your hamstrings and your glutes, and then you stretch your hip flexors, that should fix the problem for you, whether all the way or just to some degree, it really depends on what your posture is, but for everybody, it should at least help somewhat. And there's a quick way to identify whether or not you have anterior pelvic tilt. Basically what you're gonna do is look at your belt line. Put your belt on in the morning or even your boxers. Lift your shirt up and if your belt is tilted forward like this, so the back of your belt is sticking higher than the lower part of your belt. I don't know if you can see it on camera. The back here sticks higher so it's off center. It's not parallel to the ground. That probably means you have anterior pelvic tilt, but those exercises should help you out. Guys, I know this is a little bit of a bizarre video. It was impromptu. I don't have all the, you know, flashy gun B-roll and all that fun shooting stuff, but I wanted to knock it out real quick while I was out here because I'm sure some of you probably deal with that problem and maybe you don't know the answer. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.